Debbie was nosy, it was that she would connect with me. Every night, we talk for about 30 minutes, Debbie and I. When we, we've just gotten into this practice, we turn out the lights, it is our time to talk. How, how was your day? What went on? What did you do? Things like that. And we connect to each other. I heard one guy say, I said, you know, you ought to talk with your wife 30 minutes every day. He said, they'll find me dead in the morning with my brain sucked out. <laughs> I'm telling you, Debbie and I now talk every day for about 30 minutes, and I like it now. <laughs> I really do, but it is the way. And ladies, please listen to me. Now, uh, okay, guys, remember I told you, fine. Let me talk to the guys again for a moment. Fine doesn't work. When she says, how was your day? All right, let me, just, let me just help you, all right? Here, you respond something like this. At 6.32, my eyes opened. I had a little headache. I think it was because of the pollen in the air. And I was a little, I was feeling a little stressed about the meetings that I had that day. Okay, listen to me. You just got a lot of points because you used the word feeling. <laughs> Women love the word feeling. They fall in love with you when you say how you were feeling. And, and guys, for a while, you'll just have to make up things. Because, ladies, listen to me. When, when you say to your husband, how did you feel about that? And, and, and he says, I don't know. L listen to me. We're not lying. We don't know. I have a friend of mine, been married for 25 years, and he was selling his company after 20 years. And he, she said, how do you feel about selling your company? You know what he said? I don't know. I, I don't he, she said, are you upset? He said, no. You know what she said? Yes, you are. <laughs> he told me, he said, you know what? The more I thought about it, I am. <laughs> but that's not the way we think. Here's the reason why, ladies, please hear me. Men come from the factory emotionally unassembled. We have all the wires, but they're not connected. That's your job. That's why you were put on this earth. You connect. Here's what a woman does. She'll say, um, now, your father didn't come to the championship baseball game? And, and the, man, the guy will say, no. He said, no emotion. He has no emotion. No. Okay. Then, and, and the other fathers were at the game? Yeah. Still, he has no emotion. Here's what she's actually doing. She's taking the experience, the wire experience, and she's moving it closer to the feeling. And the guy doesn't even know she's doing it. And you hit the championship home run, and your dad wasn't there to see it? No. And, and, but the other father, and all of a sudden, all of a sudden, oh, what, what was that? She says, now that was a feeling. <laughs> Pretty soon, you'll cry during movies. <laughs> that is your job, ladies. It's been amazing to me as you counsel with couples to, to watch the emotions of the two. You, you know, the man comes in, woman comes in, and you say to the woman, um, now, how are you feeling about this session that we were having here? Here's what she'll do. And she, you hadn't, you hadn't, you, she hadn't said a word. <laughs> She's already crying. We have Kleenexes there. They're for the women to cry and men to blow their nose. That's the only reason a man's ever used a Kleenex in a pastor's office. And then you say to the man, now this is, this is amazing. I've, I've had things almost like this. You say to the man, you say, well, t tell me about your childhood. Well, uh, after I was born, my uh, parents threw me out the hospital window because they didn't want kids. And you just, no emotion. You say, your parents threw you out the window? Yeah, and I, I was found by a pack of wild dogs and they raised me. He has no emotion when he's telling you this story. And so he said, well, did, did that hurt you? Oh, no, I was fine. It was only on the first floor of the hospital. No, I'm not, I'm not talking about the hospital. I'm falling out. Of the, I'm, I'm talking about that your parents abandoned you. Did, did that hurt you? No, I, I like the dogs. There's this one dog named Harry. Boy, the stories I could tell you about me and Harry. No, no, I'm, let's not talk about the dogs for a minute. See, that, that's just the way men are. Ladies, listen to me. That's your job. But men, I'm telling you, 
if you'll start talking, you'll get wired up. Now, here's the good thing. Once you learn to connect with a woman, and by the way, that's, that's really why God put them in our lives. Once you learn to connect with a woman, listen to me carefully, you can really connect with God. My relationship has gone so much deeper with God because I know how to connect now. And I didn't know how to connect before. And you, you got to, please hear me. And if you're, if you're single, please understand. I'm not, I'm not, I don't want you to feel condemned at all. I want you to know something. When God put a, a mirror of himself on this earth, it was a marriage. You need to understand. God said, I want to put my image on the earth. And he put a husband and a wife. Now, do, you, do you understand that the only thing God created that wasn't good was man without a woman? You ever thought about that? He created the sun. He said, that's good. Stars, that's good. Trees, that's good. Animals, that's good. He creates a man, and he says, uh, that's not good. Literally, he said, it is not good for a man to be alone. That's the only thing he said that wasn't good. Now, I don't know if Adam was running around in the garden with scissors or what, but, you know, <laughs> God just kind of went, uh, that, that's not good. <laughs> no, that's not good. So he puts a woman there. Men, I'm telling you, if you'll lay your life down, you're meeting a need, you'll have a happy wife. You'll also have a happy life because it'll change your life. Do you know, and let me just say something here. Affairs are never justified. Affairs are no, never justified. But do you know why men and women have affairs? Men have affairs, and we're going to talk about happy husband next week. Men have affairs because a woman will honor him and give him sex. That's really the reason. Women have affairs because a man will listen to her and connect with her. That's why. And by the way, women... They'll pretend to listen to you to get sex, just to let you know. Don't be fooled. All right, so that number one is communication. Here's number two, leadership. Leadership. Number one complaint in marriage counseling is my husband won't lead. Now, when we talk about leadership, by the way, we're not talking about domination. No person wants to be dominated. No person, male or female, doesn't matter. No one wants to be dominated. And domination is never...